If we look at the most common types of analysis of variance, we distinguish between the one-factor and the two-factor analysis of variance, and on the other hand, the analysis of variance without repeated measures and with repeated measures. What is the difference between single factorial and two factorial? Let's start with the question of what a factor actually is. A factor is, for example, the gender of a person with the characteristics male and female, or the form of therapy used for a disease with therapy A, B and C. Or it could be the field of study with, for example, medicine, business administration, psychology and math. In the case of analysis of variance, a factor is therefore a categorical variable. You use an analysis of variance whenever you want to test whether these categories have an influence on the so-called dependent variable. For example, you could test whether gender has an influence on salary, whether the therapy has an influence on the blood pressure or whether the field of study has an influence on the duration of study. Salary, blood pressure and study duration are then the dependent variables. In all these cases, you can now check whether the factor has an influence on the dependent variable. Since you only have one factor in these cases, you could use a single factor analysis of variance. You're right if you say, well, in the first case we have a variable with only two categories, so of course we could use the t-test for independent samples as well. Now of course you may say, but I have another categorical variable that may also have an effect on the dependent variable and I want to include that variable as well. Maybe you would also like to know if, in addition to gender, the highest level of education has an impact on salary. Or in addition to the form of therapy, maybe you would also like to include gender. Or in the third case, you would also like to know whether, in addition to the field of study, the university attended also has an influence on the length of study. Now in these cases, you would not have one factor, but two factors in each case. And since you now have two factors, you use the two-factor analysis of variance. With the help of the two-factor analysis of variance, you can now answer three things. Once, whether the first factor has an influence on the dependent variable. Once, whether the second factor has an influence on a dependent variable. And then you can also make a statement whether there is a so-called interaction effect between the two factors. Therefore, in the case of single factor analysis of variance, we have one factor from which we create the groups. In the case of the two factor analysis of variance, the group results from the combination of the expression of the two factors. If we have a factor or variable with three expressions, and one with two expressions, we get a total of six groups that we want to compare. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.